We're about to go live here, folks. We're actually just waiting for some folks to sign on. Let's see if anybody does. <laughs> there's there's our first one. Hello, hello. You guys can get into the comments. I'm gonna just gonna wait a minute while there's some folks on board. Uh, thank you. Well, hey, hi, Joanne. Hey, Joanne, I'm going to put you on the air. Hang on a second. I'm going to have to figure out how to invite you. Okay, let's see here. Okay. I think I just posted. Hey, it's a bunch of you now. I just posted something. If you want to come in, I posted in the comments. It says Streamline Art Video. If you want to go on the air with me today, uh, click on that and then you'll show up and I'll maybe I'll put you on the air. I just put that out there for Joanne, but maybe a couple of you others who want to come on will do it. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm back. Oh, man, what a trip. Uh, a week ago Sunday, I, uh, I got in the boat, went across the lake, drove to the airport, got to the airport, boarded an airplane. I, I had two minutes to spare. It took me much longer to get there than I thought. I'm just not used to being on airplanes anymore. I used to do it every day. And then I, um, uh, I flew to Austin, Texas. We put Plan Air Live on all last week. I'll tell you about that in a minute. And then uh, last night, well, yesterday, I got up real early, got Sunday coffee out, and then um, got to the, uh, got, I was at the airport and then I flew to Washington, D.C. And when I got to Washington, D.C., they said, well, your flight is canceled. You're staying overnight. And so I was standing in line at the, uh, at, at the um, customer service and uh, there were about 60 people in line in front of me. So I thought, I'm going to sell out early. So I quickly looked on my phone. I looked and found there was a flight to Burlington, Vermont, which is not too much further away. And so I quickly ran over to that gate, which was a, in Washington, D.C., was quite an ordeal. It took me about 15, 20 minutes to get over to that gate. And then I got over there and I talked my way onto the airplane, got a ticket, got my bag transferred. They held up the flight so they could get my bag. Yay, United, you guys. Nice job on that. Anyway, uh, I got in, uh, I, I got to, to uh, Burlington. I had reached Lori. She had to drive an extra hour to get to me, but she showed up in Burlington. Uh, we drove home. We stopped at McDonald's and got some dinner because that's all that was open. And, uh, and then we drove home. Um, and we, of course, were masked. So uh, now I'm in quarantine for two weeks. And uh, so... It's gonna get. It's gonna be a nice place to be quarantined. I'm back in the Adirondacks. It's beautiful here. It's very hot today. Um, the air conditioning isn't keeping up, and uh, I I bought a little uh, portable air conditioner unit, uh, and uh, it's not on right now because it makes too much noise. But it's not keeping up, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do because the heat from the ceiling. I'm on the second floor. Pretty crazy. All right. So um, anyway. Uh, that's the story of yesterday. Now, I promised you something, and I've broken a promise. I promised you that I would have a uh, something to teach today. And quite frankly, I was so exhausted. I slept till 9 o'clock this morning and uh, got up. I feel energized. I had, uh, I'm going through a daily routine now. You might want to try this. It's pretty good. I did it all last week. So what I do is uh, the first thing I do when I wake up is I get a great big great big glass of water and I juice one full lemon into it. And then I down that first thing is getting hydrated. And then you wait 30 minutes and then you juice fresh juice celery. So you get a big glass of celery and you juice that. And then you wait another 30 minutes before you have your coffee. So it's, it's a detoxing and it gives you energy. I have so much energy. I don't know why I need more, but it, anyway, I feel great. I did it all last week, did it today. And of course, Drink lots of water. This is my uh, water for this morning. And uh, so, especially now, you got to drink lots of water. So uh, anyway, I'm going to try and, uh, and uh, jo um, Joanne, I put in the comments from Streamline Art Video, I put a way to link into the show. 
Uh, maybe you can do that. I don't know if you can, but I was going to put you on because you had some good things to say, and I, I need to hear them again. Uh, so uh, also, Rosemary Swim, where are you? I see you on there. All right. So here, I'm going to do this. Rosemary Swim, I was ready to leave the house yesterday morning, and Lynn Boyer was taking me to the airport, and she said, Eric, there's a FedEx package on your porch, and so here's what I got. <laughs> well, this is, uh, of course, you still have to wear a mask when you put one of these on, but that's pretty cool. Very creative. Um, Rosemary Swim did that for La Papa, uh, thinking they'd be able to hold their live event. And so I don't know what's going to happen yet. They might. Uh, anyway, thank you for that. That's kind of fun. That'll be a collector's item. And, uh, you know, I need more stuff hanging around the house. Um Okay, so what have I got today? I have nothing for you today. Absolutely nothing. I have, oh, I do want to tell you about a couple of things. First off, we had some incredible sponsors at uh, Plein Air Live. We had a huge number of people on, much more than expected. Thank you for that. Uh, you know, it still doesn't make up for uh, the Plein Air Convention, but it sure helps. I mean, it's going to help us a lot. And these sponsors helped a lot. First off, we had these platinum sponsors, Royal Talons, Laguna Plein Air Painters, and Savoir Faire, which is uh, many brands. Royal Talons is many brands as well. And then we had uh, these sponsors, Multimedia Art Board, Golden Artist Colors, and Plein Air Pro, uh, Plein Air Salon, Canson, St. Hubert, uh, Cuthbert's, Arches, Princeton, Brushes, Strathmore, May Mary, uh, My Mary, I say it wrong, My Mary um, Paints, uh, Dalleroni, Lyra, uh, Das, Plein Air Magazine, etc. Um, those are our brands, and so I'm not going to mention those. And then we had one join at the very last minute, uh, which is one called and plenty, our, our, uh, one called Artist Angle. Hang on a second, I get that screen off. So I I didn't have this with me at the convention. I mean, at not at the convention, but at, at Plein Air Live. So this little bag, this is Artist Angle. And it's a nice little velvet-like bag, and you pull out this little device. And this little device is basically a clear angled piece. And what it's really cool for is, um, you know, like if you're dealing with architecture or you're dealing with some, some really interesting perspective issues, what you can do is you can hold that out, line that up. Let's see, I'll line that up against that back wall there to that back window, which should be straight. It is almost. Anyway, if you had an angle, let's say the angle of the roof over there, see if I can do this backwards. Uh, you got the angle of the roof. <laughs> Everything's backwards on camera. I'm sorry. Anyway, you got, you get the idea, the angle of the roof, and then you, you figure out what's that angle. That way you get your angles right. And then you can just make a mark. Anyway, that's a cool little product. Uh, this one is one that uh, she sent me a while back. And so that's really nice. And so thank you to Artist Angle for joining us. Also wanted to mention, um, I got a really beautiful gift. Uh, I was marveling, marveling over this new easel, which is a sponsor, Plein Air Pro. It may be not new, but it was new to me. And um, and I, they sent it as a giveaway. And I, I had said to Ali, I said, we got to open this up and look at it. It's because I'm an easel junkie. And it was so cool. So anyway, uh, I, I offered to buy it, and they gave it to me. And and so this is the essence of it. Um, it has a lid, so you can keep your colors out. This part hooks onto your tripod. And they have these little slide-out trays on both sides, which is really nice. And so I'm anxious to try this. It's also got a value scale on it and uh, pretty cool. So I'm going to be trying that. You know, I'll try to snap a picture of that for them. I don't endorse any products. I, that's my rule is I just don't endorse anybody. I had an easel manufacturer get mad at me one time because um, uh, one of the other easel manufacturers had a picture of me painting with their easel. So I just give them all pictures of me painting with their easels. If they want to do it, they can have it. But I don't endorse anything because I don't want to get in trouble because they're all good. They all have their advantages and disadvantages. So um, anyway... That's uh, the, the sponsors. I want to just go through yesterday. We uh, 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 For five days, we did Plein Air Live. We had a beginner's day, which turned out to be absolutely awesome. Had a bunch of new people and a, a bunch of people who wanted to learn more about some other things, and, and they found it really, really valuable. 
And so um, anyway, that was pretty cool. Everybody's watching on their computers. And uh, the, the cool part was the interactivity. I don't have video of this, but it was so cool. I mean, uh, uh, Bill and Janie Reeves were on there on screen and they were sitting in their swimming pool. Uh, we had people showing their artwork, people from all over the world. Uh, people were doing, we were doing painting by video. And so um, anyway, we were doing that. There's Ellen and Eddie. Um, so we had a lot of people on there and it was really cool to see everybody and, and show their paintings. And, and we did happy hour every night. Uh, first off, we had these breakout rooms and uh, breakout rooms of uh, up to about 10 people and people really got to know each other. And uh, so that was the best part about the whole thing, I think. And then for me, the best part was being able to have all these people on and, and talk to them. Uh, Richard Lindenberg, you see him up there. And, and so I just randomly pick people and talk to them. And I'm going to start doing this once a week. Uh, and so it's a cool thing. And so I want to thank everybody for participating in that. We also had, and I can't show all the faculty because I don't have all the photos, but we had some superstar moments. You know, Joe Paquette was talking about great paintings and what makes them great paintings and talked about the composition and the angles and the edges and, you know, everything that went to do with that. And and uh, we had people see they had, they they pulled up the, the, um, uh, the, the video that we had, we had like a two hour video so they could paint along with it. This was icebergs, you can't really see it. This lady is painting an iceberg. A lot of people painted their first iceberg. You know, here was Scott Christensen teaching out of the back of his car, which was cool. And here's Jill Carver. I'm sorry for the other instructors. I don't have, I only have other one. Uh, we had Albert Handel live in the studio. He was so funny. He was really in a great mood. It was, <laughs> it was really fun. He's a very happy man now. So. Uh, and then we did, you know, we did morning dancing. We had the plein air live dancers. We had a lot of fun. And uh, we even had a couple of really interesting moments like the horse lady. This lady was on the comments and I grabbed a screenshot of her because she had her, one morning she had a chicken on her shoulder and or one night she had a chicken on the shoulder. And then she had, I thought at first it was a stuffed horse, but it was a real horse, a miniature horse. And so two different times she had two different horses in there. So that was kind of cool. We also had international instructors. We wanted to make sure the world was represented. So Rose Schuring uh, from Holland was one of them uh, and, th and there were others. And so that was kind of cool and everybody loved her demo. So that was that was pretty cool. Anyway, that's kind of uh, an overview of, of what Plan Air Live was. We made a, a major announcement at Plan Air Live and uh, only the people at Plan Air Live know about that. And unless of course they snuck it out on social media, they weren't supposed to. But we will have a major announcement coming up soon, as soon as we get ready. That may take a, a few days, but hang hang in there for that. Uh, so today we have, uh, let's see, we have a winner. Yesterday I gave away a Planet Air Magazine apron and Deborah Allison, I spelled it wrong. I spoke, spelled it Debrog, uh, Deborah Allison of Texas, congratulations. And then uh, my book, Make More Money Selling Your Art. Where is it? We, we keep selling out on Amazon. We have to keep restocking. To, so thank you guys. Uh, make more money selling your art. By the way, if you buy it direct from us, we actually make a little money on it. If we, you buy it from Amazon, we don't, I don't think we make any money. They take a third, but uh, that's okay. Buy it wherever it's convenient for you. And then, uh, so that's going to uh, Marilyn Witt in Indiana. So congratulations, thumbs up for those guys. Today at 3 p.m., we have a video from Ulrich Leiter, who is a German who lives in Russia, part of the time anyway, he's doing bold Russian impressionism. And you really can learn a lot from this. He studied in the, uh, in the uh, uh, Repin Academy in St. Petersburg. And that's one of the places we're gonna go on the Russian trip. I talked about that on Planet Air Live. And uh, if you like big, bold brush strokes and really goopy paint, he's the guy to teach you. So anyway, you're gonna see that today at 3 p.m on Streamline Art Video and uh, Facebook and YouTube. So make sure you check that out. And that's basically all I've got for today because I didn't I didn't prepare anything. So I apologize. Oh, I've got prizes for tomorrow. Uh, <clears throat> tomorrow's prizes are, excuse me. <clears throat> tomorrow, tomorrow's prizes are Plein Air Magazine subscriptions, one digital for outside the US and one non-digital print subscription. And uh, 
So uh, you can win that by leaving comments. And so your comments are always welcome. I'm going to go to the comments briefly and just say hello to everybody. Uh, <clears throat> I was too wiped out yesterday uh, to do it. But uh, okay, so let's see here. Who do we have? Dennis Marshall. Hi, everybody. It's a great hot day in sunny North New Jersey. All right. So hi from Kentucky. Uh, hello from Oh, good. Sherry Akers is looking for old Cheryl Akers looking forward to Russian Impressionism. Linda Pika, hi there. Uh, <clears throat> wow. Anyway, <clears throat> I don't think I have coronavirus, but we'll wait two weeks and find out. <laughs> if I do, nice knowing you. Um, all right. Anyway, um, we had a great time last week. I want to thank everybody. Um, uh, it it was very heartwarming to to see all those people show up and to, and, and everybody I'm told got a lot out of it. Uh, we had a really good time. And uh, so thank you for showing up. And I'll start teaching again as soon as I get my act together. I just had to, I came in, I was planning on, on planning this morning, but I forgot that I had to spend an hour, hour and a half setting up my computers and getting that stuff all set up because I tore it down to move it to Austin. And so anyway, I'll get something for you. I apologize, but we'll get back to that hopefully tomorrow. And in the meantime, uh, have a really terrific day. Remember that we've got to keep, we've got to be responsible, but we got to keep our heads in the games. We want to, uh, there's a lot going on in the world, a lot of things that we fear, and we have to stay upbeat. I'm an upbeat guy naturally, but sometimes it pulls me down and it, I get pulled down from doom scrolling. When I was back in Austin, I did something terrible. I was there alone at night and I turned on the news. Ah! I haven't watched the news all summer. And so I turned it right off and, and said no more of that. And, and uh, I'm sure that if the world comes to an end, I'll figure it out. But in the meantime, I just, uh, I like keeping my head positive. And, and so it was really fun because, you know, the, the family uh, was up here. And so I have this sound system that goes throughout the house. And so I cranked it up and I'm dancing around in Motown music and I really had a really a good time. I don't like being alone that much, but it was fun to, to do it once in a while. And so you can picture me dancing around the house like a bad dancer and uh, just getting ready in the morning and, and doing my juicing and having a good time. And so you got to you got to do things to keep your spirits high, keep keep your your dopamine rushing into your brain so that you feel good. Uh, because we need that. I also had a lot of time to go to dinner with friends. Uh, I went to dinner two nights with uh, Susie Baker and uh, Lynn Boyer and also Dean Pickering. And uh, we, we wore our masks and socially distanced and kept, you know, kept away from each other as much as we could. And, you know, we'd stick food in under our masks and so on. But uh, we had a, had a nice time. And it's nice to get to know people at a deeper level. And I got to know all of them at a deeper level. I, I would love for you guys to just do a quick like button or a heart button uh, for the team at Streamline. I talked to Laura this morning at Streamline. Uh, she does the bookkeeping and she was so jazzed because the whole team really pulled together. Everybody was in sync. Everybody's working long hours. We've given uh, the video team a couple of days off because they've worked so long and they're all, you know, off doing what they need to do. And, you know, anybody who needs that time, we want to give it to them because they've really worked hard for you guys. So uh, really appreciate it. I'm sweating because the air conditioner is off. So I'm going to say goodbye and turn the air conditioner back on. And uh, thank you again to everybody. Uh, the faculty members, boy, they really stepped up. They, you know, they, uh, we had all kinds of different approaches. Uh, we asked them to to create videos and, and, you know, they're not up to the, the quality that when we produce in the studio, but we got through it. And, and uh, so we had a lot of variety. Some of them had good sound or bad sound, but you know, nobody really minded that they, they got good data. And then uh, we did a live thing in the studio every day. We had Albert Handel, we had Chong Wong, we had Susie and, and Lynn, uh, Susie Baker and Lynn Boyer and uh, live in the studio. And uh, so, we had a lot of fun doing it. And boy, I'll tell you, I can't wait to do it again. It really was fun. Um, you know, I'm a ham. I like to be on camera anyway. You probably noticed that. Okay. Well, uh, have a terrific day. Thank you for watching. And um, and thank you for all of you who attended uh, Plein Air Live. I'm, I'm getting a lot of calls about people here, heard about it on social media. No, we're not selling the replays. Uh, we 
we uh, made a, an agreement with the artist that we would not do that. And so we can't. Um, so the people who bought into it had a chance to upgrade for longer views. You know, some of the views uh, could be, you know, one week uh, or two weeks or one, one year. So um, some people were upgrading to longer views so they could watch everything again, which was really nice. Anyway, uh, a lot of people from around the world. I'm seeing someone from France right now. Hello, France. Kevin McPherson says, Eric, you pulled it off wonderfully. I was wonder wonder." I was honored to be a part of it. Kevin, we were honored to have you in there. And, and by the way, that house looks beautiful. And I'm going to come visit you one day uh, and and uh, buy the lot next door and move in. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming, uh, I'm assuming a lot. I probably can't afford a lot next door. I'm just saying. Uh, okay, guys. Well, thank you for uh, a great day. And thank you for all of your support and participation. I'm sorry I don't have anything specific for you today. I know I'm a slacker, but uh, I guess I'm taking that part of the day off. All right. Have a good one. Take care. Bye.